Hey guys, good morning. So today we're starting to build the the wall with the door. You know, the one that stands there is the is the back wall. And uh, yeah, now we will build the wall where the door is. And yeah, it's pretty easy. You know, um, most of the most of the buildings building work consists of uh, putting in screws and shoving in wall you know like uh, like metal rot rots into the into the construction so um, I expect that this will go pretty easy but yeah I felt like making it on camera with you and that's what we're going to do now all right <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm wearing wearing gloves against black fingers. You know this stuff makes your fingers go black. So This is the view from inside. This is here. This side is inside. There's a channel here which you can uh, can put in into the channel of the base, and uh, yeah, it goes like this. Yeah, I think this is, this is right. It was pretty easy, much more easy than I was bitten by a by a fly when I dealt with it. Yeah, it goes much more easy uh, than it goes with with the other with the other side. Here's a hole, that's where where I need to be with this thing. Okay, like this probably. So yeah, this is good. Okay, now the other one. Let me just uh, verify that this is actually correct. 
Yeah, it's correct. So let's just get this thing inside here. other side was easier. Ooh. Need to take a break. Whew. I'm not really the youngest anymore. But honestly, this is quality work, you know. You see how how uh, how hard it is in the channel. If this doesn't slip out again. Okay. All right. I'm just positioning it in a way that it doesn't uh, scratch the plates. You know, I have it leaned against the, the other wall, so I need to be a little bit careful. Now I'm reading in the manual. For the for the corner. Here's the bag with everything, with the with the plastic parts. There are little stoppers for the for the corner, you know. One and two. It's a great feeling when you're using up all the parts that you need for your greenhouse. You know, it means you're getting the progress. All right. Okay. Wrong direction, I think. See, this is inside, so it needs to be like this. All right. That one went in very easy. Okay, now we get the get the plates for the you know the window plates left and right. So I'll just get them and then we'll continue. All right, here I am. Um, 
You know, I was just thinking about this whole greenhouse system and it's such it's such a joy to build. I don't think I will ever get like uh, a greenhouse from another manufacturer again because once you have it down, once you learn the whole thing, it gets very easy. So yeah, I think I'll stay with this manufacturer because it's, because it's really good. So, um, yeah. And now the other one. This is going to be awesome. Check out how thick these are. This one, one centimeter, they are really hard to break. I mean, it's possible, but it's really, really hard. Not easy. So I just take off the, the foil. So this is, this is the front. Now we need uh, like the parts for to hold these. It's one of these, I think. I need to I need to check it out before I do anything. I don't want them to be like you know uh, wrong. But since these are all the same lengths, it's probably all the same parts, right? Yeah, probably. So, then this gets here like... Other one goes like this. I'm taking off the foil. Oh, it's already off. I need one for the other side. So. Now let's see what we do next, right? Um, yeah, we we'll put in the screws. So um, I just get get the, the right bag of screws. It's long ones.
Hmm. I have so many screws here. Oh, he's here. Found them, I think. Get them out. This is a bag of screws for the greenhouse. This is the main bag, but there are five or six others. So we have screws on mass, and I think we need these. You know, these are to hold the whole thing. You know that everything is tied together and doesn't move. So. I want to give you a better view of what I'm doing, so I'm bringing the camera towards me. These need to be very tight, very tightly screwed to make sure it's completely straight. You know, when I, when I originally forgot Two of these screws and try to uh, close the door the door wouldn't close again so they are really essential very very important now we're doing the screw on the other side same stuff This isn't right. You need to make sure that everything's perfectly straight. Otherwise you get you run into trouble later on. And I don't want that. Not not a single bit. Not not one bit. That wasn't right at all. Need to bring it back in again. It has moved too much. Probably because it's a little bit crooked. Okay. I'm straightening this. I need to straight it. Put it straight. Ok, 
Okay, I, I think we're... No, no, they can. Oh, man. I keep missing the whole thing. Okay, no. Now we have it. Once again, everything needs to be perfectly, perfectly tight and, and straight. Otherwise you, you have trouble everywhere. Plates don't fit, doors don't close, windows don't close, stuff like this. Okay, now it's, now it's perfect. Okay, now what? Let's see what next. What comes next? This is me reading the manual now. So, okay. Next, we put on the the side walls like the walls for directly beside the door. To give you a better side, I move the camera a bit back. So I'll get these uh, these other parts, these other walls, you know, the, the polycarbonate walls, and then I'll continue. I'm back with them. So, I put one on the side and start with the first and then the other. So. They have different uh, different foil on them, but both sides are protected, so it shouldn't it shouldn't matter. So scratch the, the other wall so now
Now we put on the side walls. I need to pause and check which ones we need now. I'm not entirely sure. All right, I think it must be the ones that I have now. is pretty good. Now we put the screw in, the long screw once again. Whoops! Sorry guys, I'm I'm a little bit stupid. So I just want to show it, you know. So Now the other one is. Wrong hole.
still is a great system. As someone who already built pretty cheap greenhouses, this is fantastic. It's so solid. It holds like like cement. This is great. After we have these inside, it gives everything more structure, more, more stability. Then I can move it a little bit, you know, could put it up straighter. I just wanted to wait until it holds together. Alright. Now so I put some stones to hold the other one. I'll put these away now. And I'll put this doesn't need to be perfectly straight but it should be straighter so I don't have like a crooked, crooked wall <laughs> okay now we're putting Putting the thing where the door gets. So this somewhere there. Sorry guys, I'm my own cameraman. I'm the the, ca the only cameraman in town. Sorry. Okay, I think it needs to be this one. Give me a sec to think about this. Hmm. Yeah. How did it fix? Okay, I found it. Okay, um, I need some metal plates to fix it, to hold it. Yeah, he's here. This guy and this guy. So, let's see. This, this part is a little bit iffy because you need to get it straight. So, we'll try. I think I need to put my gloves off because this part is a little bit, you know, if you get this one, this one wrong, the whole wall is crooked and I don't want that. Okay, let's see. So we put in screws up to here. I think it's like this. Yes, that's exactly right. So
Great. Perfect. Just how it should be. Now the other one. So good, please. Much good. Big fan. This is great. Looks very straight. Now? Now, 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 what now? Give me a sec, I need to check my uh, all the parts that we have in case we forgot something. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we have it pretty pretty well. Um, but guys, I need to stop the video now because I feel like um, the hard drive is getting full. So I stop this here and then uh, I'll start a new one just in case. I don't want to, to lose the whole video when the, when the hard drive is full. All right, part two is coming up soon. Hey guys, we only have 10 minutes left, so I'll, I'll get at it, at it right away, so. So I need the, I now need the little, little triangle for the top, which I'll get now and then we'll continue. Here is it, and uh, now what comes now is a little bit iffy, so. Get it done without problem. Okay. Now the two missing parts. Wait a second, I think uh, I need to, to, to screw some some screws at the at the base first there I just want this to to not move once it's straight it's very important to me you know um, but yeah I need to, I need to check which screws get in there second
I want everything to be perfectly straight. So we we screw all the screws now, at least these at the bottom. This needs needs some stability. And now this one. Okay, now the parts at the top. Now what? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't fit. So there's too much like... So this is too far away, so I would probably need to experiment with the window and, and stuff like this, you know, with, with this with this uh, metal rod, just to get it perfectly tight. So let's just experiment a little bit. I don't know. I need to pause the video and think and experiment. This is where it's, where it's going to stand. First wall is up. Now I'll put together the side, the stuff here, all the, all the uh, metal rods that get in here, all the plates. And yeah, and then I will have two greenhouses here, which is awesome. Very happy. Hey guys, I'm uh, putting together the side walls of the greenhouse. And um, yeah, as you can see here, I had to be a little bit inventive. You know, I, um, I'm i alone and I can't hold these long parts. So I just put together like, uh, you know, something that holds it for me. And now I'm, I'm pushing in these side walls, you know, these, these side rods, metal rods. And then it should stand on its own. So we're getting close closely and uh, 
the greenhouse will, will stand very soon, like within the next few days. Amazing. Bye. I'm just standing here in the greenhouse. Um, I'm in the in the soaking rain. You know, it's raining like crazy. Um, but we have to to bring in all the gravel for the floor. Check it out. You know, we have some some holes here that I need to patch. You know, um, I had ordered gravel twice, but it wasn't enough. So I so I had to order a third time. And uh, yeah, now this stuff needs into needs to go into the greenhouse because the, the floor needs to be finished otherwise we get frost and I lose cacti and I don't want that so today we'll put in all the all the gravel that I have you know there's some there's some gravel around the around the frame here you know some holes you know that need to be patched like here here you know this stuff needs to be filled up then actually needs to needs to be like um, Another, another one of these wheat planes that will get on top here, which uh, is the is the next thing that I'm doing. But yeah, um, then we are putting in the, the the cement plates, you know, these cement plates in the back there. So yeah, we'll finish this thing in the next days. So keep keep um, watching us and check out the stuff we do. I mean, we give everything. It's raining. It's it's such a garbage weather but we want to finish this greenhouse we want to you know we're like des destined to finish this greenhouse very fast all right guys bye hey guys just a little update here after two hours in the soaking rain you know we've managed to you know to even out the ground a little bit here snoopy hey snoopy snoopy hey bro well snoopy's helping and yeah See, this is the, the gap that we closed. I just cut some wheat, some wheat tape here, you know, for, for the ground, you know, just there's some more wheat tape below these stones, you know, but it wasn't enough until, you know, so to get to the, uh, to the, to the window, to the wall. So I cut a little bit of wheat tape just for the side and I'll put the gravel on top of this here. You know, I'll close this, this row like like I have everywhere else and w once I have gravel everywhere I'm uh, trying to even it out you know to get everything level that's the part that I'm mostly concerned about these plants will uh, go outside when when I'm when I'm done here I just I just had to put them put them here uh, because it's cold and it's raining and these are a little bit more vulnerable these are like grafts and stuff like this you know so um, they'll stay here until the very last moment when I when I even everything out and put put these uh, cement plates on top of everything but yeah it's looking pretty good you know this area here is a little bit you know it's it goes down it's it's not level so I'll fill up here some more um, yeah I bought another 200 no 500 kilo uh, gravel I think yeah it was 500 kilo gravel and 500 kilo pumice, you know, the pumice for the soil. And yeah, this is basically uh, what, what we've done so far, you know. I think I'm taking a break now um, because I'm tired, you know, I'm not, I'm not healthy, so I need to uh, take breaks whenever I can. But yeah, um, almost done, you know, a apart from the floor, the greenhouse is, is finished. You know, just a, just this needs to be the window opener needs to be installed, but yeah, that's basically it. So I'm very, very optimistic that uh, I can uh, take all the plants inside, like at the end of the of the end of the next week. You know, um, I've checked the the weather report, and it's getting cold very, very soon. You know, it's going towards zero de degrees Celsius, and uh, they can take it but it's not a good it's you know when they when they are soaking wet and you put them in the greenhouse they often you know they often 
cannot dry fast again before it's getting really cold and I try to avoid that. So I'm pushing very hard to get this finished now. All right, one last, one last uh, view of Snoopy for you guys that you have a positive day. He's eating grass like a cow, but yeah. What, what are you going to do? All right, take care. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my new greenhouse. I am just, you know, I'm just getting to the point where everything is ready. Um, some of the plates need to um, balance out a little bit more and I need to put some, some sand into the cracks everywhere. But I decided that I will already bring some plants inside because it's been raining like crazy. The, tonight we had rain that was so strong that it um, that some plants fell over and you know when, when, when the soil is so wet they take forever to dry so we are currently bringing all the plants inside and I've, I felt like I'm making a, a little video with you here out show you how it is when I bring my plants into a greenhouse. I mean, it's always a special a special feeling when you can bring plants into a greenhouse, you know? It's like, oh, I don't know, I love it, you know? It's a great, great feeling to have a greenhouse, but it's even greater to bring some plants into it. So yeah, um, yeah, let's, let's have a look what we'll bring inside. These were already brought in. You know, um, they are like mostly smaller Trichoceros, but also some flowering sized and uh, bigger plants. It's a it's a whole mix because um, I, I'm not I'm not prepared. You know, I was way too busy building the greenhouse and yeah, and now I need to bring a, bring a system into this whole into this whole assortment. You know, because we're about to get to get frost very soon and uh yeah i need to i need to need to have everything in order when when that happens because i will bring in my heater you know i'll bring in some additional heating some some insulation and um at when when that happens i can't be carrying around plants anymore and it can't be that that the soil is wet check out how the how the soil looks like see how how wet it is these I brought these in yesterday and they still haven't dried yet you know it was so so raining so strong that it will take weeks until they dry so um, we need to need to do it today yeah there's some there's some plants in the in the corner that were a little bit you know shaky so I put these over there and uh, yeah I will arrange everything, rearrange everything in the next weeks and months, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm just bringing plants inside to make sure it doesn't rain on them, you know. Uh, the arrangement, you know, see, see this, this channel? This will be filled with, with cement or, or other stones. For now I just put some, uh, some plants into this channel because why not, you know. So yeah, let's get some plants from outside. Here's Snoopy. Hey Snoopy. He's probably peeing all over my plants, but you know, I don't blame him. All right, here are some. Um, most of these are grafting stocks, but I'll still bring them into the greenhouse. For now, I don't know if I if I will overwinter them in the greenhouse or in the in the in the cellar, you know, because I want to graft over winter. Ow! I got a spine. Superb. Uh, I got a spine in my knuckle, and it hurts pretty badly. Oh my god. I think I need to get some tweezers, but for now, I'll just leave it. All right, so these these here are a hybrid by Rodney, you know, um, Citron Ecuadorian. 
beautiful plants actually. Check them out. Yeah, this is the first one that I bring inside. Snoopy is visit visiting me here. Snoopy Nata. These here, I'll probably bring these inside too. And I will graft on most of them because, you know, um, I just... It's, I'm just going into a different direction with my with my breeding. Here's an, an, an Echinopsis that I will probably use as grafting stock too because the flower isn't uh, what I expected. So yeah, lots of grafting stocks that are outside at the moment.